Hi guys, welcome back. Um, we just finished creating the scope using C Sharp, and now I'm going to be teaching you how to make um, the scope using Field of View in C Sharp. Uh, sit back and relax. So first of all, let's create a new C Sharp script in our C Sharp folder. Rename that to uh, Scope FOV. Save that. Save your scene. Open this in Modern Develop. Uh, let's rename our public class to Scope FOV. Uh, let's define our variables needed. Uh, if you remember, we had a uh, FOV in, which or how much we want the field of view to zoom in. So public float fov in was equal to 35 uh, we also had a public default public float dff fov the default position and it was defined as a value of nothing so that's fine we also had a um, public game object which holds our camera as cam we also had a public boolean uh, just a, a quick tip in um, Java boolean you have to write fully in C sharp you just write bool in the last tutorial I was writing boolean and I forgot it was bool so just a little heads up aim uh, it's equals always to false when it starts save that off and I believe that's all we need let's go back to unity um, let's drag our new scripts onto our main player. Uh, let's turn off the scope using C sharp with the basic. Uh, let's add our camera to the open variable and this time it's going to be your main camera not the camera we created for the basic version. Okay save that off. First of all on the start let's define the default position ah you know what we've forgotten one variable hold on let's go back on top public foe speed the speed is gonna go in otherwise it's just gonna stay there oh, float first fov speed equals to five for now that's all right uh, at the start we want to do d was it capital yeah dff fov equals our cam dot camera dot field of view so as soon as we start it's gonna pick our field of view so if we run unity and if you keep an eye down here you see that it's gonna have 60 which is our position of the uh, camera the camera's field of view at the moment there you go. Back into uh, Monovelop. Let's start telling it how it's going to work. So we're going to check our input first. So if open bracket close bracket. Okay, open close curly brace. Uh, we're going to say input dot galaxy get mouse button down one. If we hold down the right key, we want to um, put aim to true. So aim equals true. And now we're going to do the same thing for the if we release our input button. So if input dot get mouse button up we want our boolean set back to false aim 
equals false. Now let's start defining our camera field. So we need if aim equals equals true. We want cam dot camera dot field of view open bracket no equals mat f dot lerp open bracket cam dot camera dot field of view it's how much we want to zoom in which was our fov in and the speed of it is going to zoom in its FOV speed and then it times up by time dot delta time time dot delta time now that's done now we said if our aim is true do this if our aim is false we haven't done nothing yet so we're going to start doing that next so we need if aim equals equals false then do this then we're gonna say if it's false cam dot camera dot field view equals mat f dot lerp cam dot camera dot field view is gonna be equal to our default position this time and it's going to be equal it's going to use our forward speed to go back so fov speed and we're going to times it by time dot delta time righty that i think all done uh, i think so yeah save it go back to unity that's a quick test Let's run the game. So now if we click our right mouse button in, we should zoom in. And if we release, zoom back out. Fantastic. That's how you create the scope uh, using field of view in C Sharp. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any more further questions, just leave a comment below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.